All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to Apostle Hills in New York, GMS, and on uh, citation to Yahweh around the world is teaching the truth. And put your lines on line for us. Shalom to you, serious Aqua. That's all I learned from our videos. My name is Maya Ka'ala, Bun Gad, with Chicago branch of Great Millstone. I'd like to make a disclaimer that we're not black Hebrew Israelites. We are Israelites. The Israelites are the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Speck of birds scattered abroad. Speck of birds are Israelites who look like other nations, but their fathers paternal blood and go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. We are not feeding with any black identity and string groups. We are not feeding with any of string groups. We are not feeding with any Islamic groups. We are not feeding with any other Israelite groups. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use. For purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, research. All right. <clears throat> and I uh, just want to, if you remember this song um, a while ago. All right. Who's, you know, because most of these songs, Jake, Jake think um, they just write these songs just for fun and anything, you know. All right. So it's called Who's Peeping in My Window. All right. So this came out in 1995, man. All right. And, uh, we go right here. G56. Bingo. Oh my God! Bingo! Did you see that? That was acting. All right. So if you fast forward. All right, so uh, I'm going to turn the sound down, all right, because, you know, it will be, um, you know, for protection purposes, all right. So just bear with me. We're about to show you the uh, Mark of the Beast, all right, RFD chip. All right, so right here, man, you have right here, they showing you back all the way back in 95, all right? <laughs> um, they showing you what's going to happen in the future, man. This Esau telling you what's, what's going to happen, man, and what's going on right now, man. All right, you got the COVID-19. They're using the COVID-19 as an excuse um, to go paperless society, basically a cash of society, man, to uh, move you to that chip, all right? Because now they make a last talking about... Um, um, money, paper money, spread germs. All right, with, with germs, germs, are bacteria on every object you touch, man. All right, <laughs> okay, it's on your clothes, it's on everything, man. It's all throughout the air. Germs, virus, and bacteria is uh, is everywhere, man. All right, there's no no getting away from it. All right, but they're using that that lie. All right, basically a lie that that uh, uh they can't use paper. Uh, money because um, um, it spread germs and virus and stuff. Everything got germs and viruses, all right? So they're just alive for them to get you moving up to the uh, the RFD chip, the mark of the beast, all right? Because if you think about it, okay, paper got virus and germs and bacteria on it. So how you, when you use the bathroom, don't you wipe your, your <laughs> don't you wipe your, um, your buttocks with toilet tissue paper, all right? So everybody gonna everybody gonna wipe wipe their, their butts, man. All right. You you're not gonna get those expensive Japanese toys that that clean that all mad clean your butt and spray and spray water into it, man. And plus that's 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 creepy, man. You know. Anyway, nobody gonna do nobody the right man will do something like that, man. All right. 
It's all lies and stuff, man. All right, to get you a uh, program for you to accept that um that mark of the beast. All right, and this is gonna be the out temptation, man, because you're not be able to to buy and sell, man, unless what you get what that chip in your in your hand. All right. So it is um. It's in Revelation chapter three verse ten. All right, it says um, because thou has kept. The word of my patient, I also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right, so most of all, gonna allow this happen to try those. All right, the temptation, man, and most of all, we hope we had the strength to to resist temptation, man. Because now, man, they uh, because they about months ago they purposely uh uh deplete the food supply. Was you know making a lie time I was infected with the coronavirus. There wasn't, wasn't nothing wrong with that food, man. They told all the dairy farmers part of the milk. They told everybody to get rid of the food, the potato farm, everything, man. They did that on purpose, man, to make a food shortage. All right, and you people, you was, <laughs> um, you was ignorant. No, I'm gonna use the word. You was stupid to do that, man. All right, and you was stupid to go on with that mask, but that mask on your face, man. All right. And uh, shut down your own business and stuff, man. You know, you people, you have no, you have no wisdom, you have no knowledge, man. Even you small restaurants, man, you ain't have to close. <laughs> you could have just easily just converted your restaurant to a uh, curbside or had somebody um order. All right, is they gonna pick up the food or you deliver the food, man? All right. And some of you, some of you just did that anyway to collect uh, from the the government anyway, man. All right, get to get something, man. You know, little small business bonus checks, whatever the heck, whatever the heck it was, man. All right, all right. So, uh, all right. So yeah, this is our temptation, man. All right, and I'll just go to another video on Dabu, uh, Dabu Seven. All right, and this is this was going on right here. Seltzer over other seltzers. Your taste buds notice. Signs that go along with this futuristic way that they want things to be like. All along, showing you, if you have the eyes to see, the cash and life as you know it is about to change forever. Now, a lot of this concept is being drawn off of ideas that came from Amazon, is what they're saying. These Amazon go like stores. Now we have MasterCard stepping up, saying that they are increasing their efforts to create more of these cashierless stores, unveiling a platform that it calls Shop Anywhere. They're teamed up with a retail tech company called Acel Robotics, which has created a bunch of these different setups here. And what this is allowing is for people to walk in, check in at the kiosk, go in, grab whatever you want, and as you're walking out, it already knows who you are. So it has your account information, and it deducts from it as you exit with that item. Now, this is being rolled out in stadiums, in gas stations, across the country. There is no change being given back, obviously. We already know what's happening there in an unprecedented move. Come on, right? That that changed. That's a lie, man. All right, it been <laughs> it been coins, um, uh, um, uh, uh, because they trying to change. Speaking speaking on change, right? It's been coins been been um been made since nineteen sixties up to like last year, man. So ain't no damn coins shortage. All right, so to tell you, he already said there ain't gonna be no change. All right, so it's all is gonna be digital, man. All right taking all the coins away from everyone and they're not giving them back and all the lemmings seem to be missing the writing on the wall that the biggest shift of our lifetime is coming right around the corner so where else are these how about places like your dunkin donuts how about right out at the gas station grab and go as you can see here at the kiosk you're going to see a lot more of these no cash being used, no coinage, no nothing. It would be the use of a card, and this is where it will all be transferred over to digital blockchain in a blink of an eye in the offing. Touch-free payments. You don't even have to touch the screen. It sees you 
It's scanning your face, as I've shown in other videos. Pay with your face in California is what I just covered in another video. And it ties right into this. Thus far. Yep, pay with your face. All right, because you go to what? You go to Revelation. Um, uh, let's see, Revelation 13. Let's see, Revelation 13, 1. Okay. All right. So we'll go Revelation 13 and uh, yep. Revelation 13 16, and he calls it all both small, great, rich and poor, free and bond. All right. So he called any um any person from the high to the high class to the low class. All right. Those that know, those that not known. All right. Rich and poor, all right. You got the wealthy and you got the poor, free and bond, those who so called free, all right. Then you go those in prison to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right. So you pay them to your face, so they program you to pay with your right hand and in your foreheads, or your, it don't matter what you can put in your, your buttocks, man, all right. It don't matter, the Lord gonna destroy you. I said Revelation uh, 14 and 9. All right, it says right here, Revelation 13 and 17, and that no man might, might buy or sell, say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And um, there is wisdom that him to have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man. The number is 600, three score, and six. Are right, you going to Greek? The, the uh, Greek, um, or the, the, or the Latin word for mark is karagma. All right. Which means incision to you know incision, all right? Or basically to uh, uh, to sc scratch in your hand, man. All right. Okay. So let's get it right here. And Esau will be changing on this this uh, thing. It said karagma, a scratch or etching, stamp, a badge, a servitude, a sculptural figure, grave and mark. All right, great. A mark stamp on the forehead, or right hand, a badge of false of the Antichrist. Mark branded, all right, upon horses, all right. So, Karagma, all right, I mean, etching your skin, man. That's why they got to go to the, um, because people are getting a chip. Some people are getting a chip right now as we speak, man, all right. And they going to the tattoo parlors, man. Tattoo parlors, where insert the chip under your skin. All right, so let me go back to this right here. All right. See, they're scanning the face because you don't have the end game piece yet. You don't have the chip, the mark, what will be scanned for everything. And I'm telling you, the technology will be set up for this as well. That's what you need to be watching for along the way. When they have these certain scanners that start popping up in different places, and you're like, what does that scan for? And it doesn't scan the credit card it's not scanning your face and you can't figure out what it's there to scan for it's there to scan for that mark those that have the eyes to see can see so this is coming to Dunkin donuts this is coming into all their different places circle k's gas stations it has begun right around you the writing is on the wall the biggest shift Ever is about to take place. Yep, it is about to take place, man. All right, so he's uh correct, and you know you people you're not prepared for it, man. All right, those <laughs> that that's not the truth, man. You're gonna take the mark of the beast. You're gonna take the mark of the beast because you're scared. All right, and <laughs> on a deep on another level, you're not part of that and one third of the nation of Israel. All right, point blank period. All right, so you meant to be sure because the true, uh, the true man or the Lord is not gonna take that that mark, man. All right, and they will be protected, man. And there's gonna be a couple of martyrs, all right, but uh, no, nah, man, even the martyrs gonna win, man, because they gonna <laughs> they gonna get the crown of life, man, when it when they become uh, uh, when they become a martyr, all right, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna, in this, all right, don't take that chip, all right, don't take that vaccine, all right, so the white pin drop, shall I want.